Ah! TJ expected this, so, and I expected this to be quite simple, but... It is. There's a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of stuff. We gotta take off the exhaust, we gotta take off the transmission brace, we gotta then take off the drive shaft. Too bad the internet can't come here and install this for you, that would be amazing. It's times like this that I wish we had someone to film this video for us, because we can't capture everything. As we're trying to do this as fast as we can, but also capture as much as we can. But it's a lot of small, meticulous things that need to be removed. Something that does suck is to get this exhaust off. You have to take this diffuser off, and getting this diffuser on and off kind of takes a while. So we're gonna do all the small stuff first, and probably capture all the larger, more monumental parts of the install, rather than all the small bullshit stuff that you guys don't really need to see. All right, so we're almost ready to pull this trans out of the car. There's a couple of things we need to take off. We need to get this power brace off, supporting the trans. We need to take the drive shaft off. We already took off the top half of the trans bolt, so I'm gonna take off the starter, take out those bolts, take out this bolt, and then we're going to be disconnecting the clutch line. We got most of our lines that were connected to the top of the trans. Disconnecting all the electrical stuff off the trans, and at that point, we should be ready to get it out, and then we're going to have to do some work with this trans. So this trans was from my friend Ricky. Shout out to you, Ricky. He's been saving some over the years, and he had a spare one, so I bought it off of him. We're going to need to do some work to this car. Uh, we're probably going to swap the belt housings, which I will explain in a little bit, and I've never done that before, so that's going to be a learning experience for sure. Come on, man. Oh, it's so tight. Um, it's she's so tight. Oh my god. You can't even do it. I can't. Oh god. TJ, I'm gonna. You gotta get. No, give, gotta her, give, give her a push. You gotta give her Excalibur push, TJ. Ready? Jesus. Ah. Come, come. No, dude. Try. <laughs> All those muscles, I'm an huh? I'm an animal. Come on, anchor arms. Oh, 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 oh man! Ah! So tight, boys. Sounds like me. First time. Oh my <laughs> god. You're a bad girl. <laughs> this one's for the boys. <sighs> that literally took 30 minutes to get that out. Taking out the old trans, wish us luck. So TJ's transmission has a special modification, a push-pull conversion. If you look in here, all of this, all these bits are way different than inside of there. These don't even exist in there. It converts it so you can push this and then it pulls that. Yeah, and then on the stock bell housing. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove these bolts around here and just take straight take out the bell housing and swap it over. We've never done this before, so we're gonna take our time. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. If you look at this guy right here, it's also bracked on this. It's also messed up over there, but it was only dangling. I don't see why it would have broken, but it's broke. Like you, can, you see how you can't like solder back onto these leads? So if you look at here, the leads are deep within the thing. Usually you could repair it, but it's broken right at the tip and you can't fit. When we were taking out our trans, we accidentally caught our wire somewhere and um, we had everything disconnected, but this must have gotten caught on something and we pretty much ripped that and you can't really solder that because it's just it's on plastic. So before the new trans goes in, we're gonna swap bell housings, which would be kind of cool. We've never done that before. And then we're even thinking about draining the fluid out of this transmission to see the fucked up gearing in there. If we have time today just to investigate it and for scientific purposes, we might investigate it and see what it looks like inside because I'm actually kind of curious to see that myself. I can't see what's in there. I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh, shunk. oh, oh wow. So now we need to do the same thing on this, but we need to, we need to get to these back bolts. So we'll take apart this and this and this and a lot of it actually. Damn, look how clean it is in there. I wonder who did that. Give her a tug, Teach. Well, oh, now you, I need to take out. Oh, you might have to undo a bolt on the other I side. I need to do this bolt, and then once we do that. Yeah, try to pull. Yeah, no, see, you see the nut. It's right still there. gonna be connected to here somehow. I need to get. No, you just pull on it. How are you gonna get. Ooh. the ah! Put the trans on the car. It's right. I am so curious to see if this is sandwich meat. <laughs> Roast beef, you know? Dang it, will we? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Then, uh, then what happened? What happened to it? It's a, treasure, it's a treasure chest. Damn, you really. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. No, Door number bad. one, baby. 
Nothing. Looks mint. Looks clean as fuck. No gears, no shears. Synchros are good. Yeah, no, it looks fucking money. What went wrong? The part after the synchro gear, it got stuck in fifth. TJ couldn't pull it out for whatever reason. And then Evan stuck his hand in there and got it out of fifth gear. So technically TJ has four gears and that's about it. Yeah, our assumption is that if we put all this back together, I could get to one, two, and three, and four, but I wouldn't have a fifth, which means we could probably send this off to somebody or if we want to try and do it, maybe we can just like replace the fifth gear. I'm not Wait. exactly sure. Wait. The current game plan that we're taking right now, we need to rebuild the new transmission with the new Bell's housing and the post pole conversion, and we need to fix our lines off of the transmission. But we also are really curious in taking this completely apart and finding the issue and seeing what went wrong. So however long that takes, I don't know. This is Calvin and I's first time diving into this, so I'm assuming for most of you guys, it's your first time either watching this be done or maybe you've never done it before, so we'll figure it out together. There's bits. What is stuff. that? There's bits. We found some oh. bits. What is this? I don't know, but it's in fucking pieces. Wait, this might be that that little red. This is that red gear that was in there. I think that red no, gear. No, 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 not red gear. There was a. It was like an orange a, thing. There was an orange. It was. It's in that. If you go look inside that hole, there's like a bushing that's like this, and it exploded. Look, look, look in there. Look in there. You see that thing in there? Yeah. It's in pieces in yeah. here. This thing right here goes in here. It's a bushing for the shifter, right? So it it, it could slide around. It's disintegrated versus this was inside the one TJ got off of Ricky. That's that, weird. You, th so that, that, that wouldn't that wouldn't do it. That wouldn't do it. No. Interesting that it's blown up, but a floppy shifter. That's what this would do. Still, why would that explode? The We're search continues. We found a new reservoir of stuff. Should we let it piss a little bit? Nah. Do it evenly. Do I it am. Up. I'm coming. I'm coming. On my side. Bro. Look, there's multiple pieces. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see fifth gear. It's over there. You got it separated here too. Oh, here's the shifter memes. This pop is this off, then you can see inside. Yeah, we just. Well, we can't. We can't pop that off. Door number five. Fifth it looks gear. Like a great fifth gear. It looks like she's doing just fine. Even back there, it looks fine. What was wrong with this transmission? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell happened? I guess the internet was right. I guess the internet was right. So, what happened? So what? It happened? was that bit. It has to be that bit because that was the only thing that's broken. After inspecting the transmission for the last hour or so, we can't find anything substantial. Substantial. Like there's a lot of sludge that's filled with like metal shavings, but that's like common. The only thing weird that we found was that shifter bushing that was like exploded, but even when I put that shifter into the one Ricky gave us, even without the bushing, it still shifts. Like you don't technically need it. So with that being said, uh, if there's any of you out there that might be able to add some value to this uh, weird problem, comment it down below. I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say. While we have this all taken apart, we're gonna just go ahead and finish the bell housing swap on the new transmission and probably call it a night. This 45 minute trans swap turned into a investigation where it led nowhere. Call me a transmission rebuilder man now, cause I know oh things. Oh yeah, Mr. Transmission Rebuilder? Well then find the issue, what went wrong? No clue. 12 seconds later. I spotted something weird. TJ also saw something weird. I put the two weird things together. It was extra weird. So basically, TJ found this pin, one of these pins. Oh, this one, it's longer. He found one of these pins sitting like that. Last time I checked, there's no pins in the transmission like that. And I found out this This is doing this thing. That- yeah, Explain it, Kyle. That's not supposed to do that. TJ called Louie, not supposed to happen. I pull it out. Look at what's, whoa, what? The pin, the missing pin. But also, I heard a little clink. I was pulling on it. I heard another clink. It might be another pin. You might have to fish for that, Tej. Sorry. But your fifth gear was missing a pin. It must have fallen out. Mm. And as it fell out, this is what controls fifth gear. This, ro can you rotate it again? Rotated down. That rotated down, and, and then, then this, it got this, my this. shifter, which is that, stuck. Stuck it like it. this or something. Something weird. It got stuck pretty much in between. Like this, the, like this. You see? Yeah. There's a gap now, and it probably there went. There should never be a gap. That should always be like that, right? Yeah. 
and it got pretty much wedged somehow in between, which is why I couldn't get the shifter out of like the fourth and fifth gear area because it was literally stuck between fourth and fifth because the dowel pin that keeps it together from rotating fell out. Don't know how that fell out, but it oh, did. Oh. I did another thing. You just, just made something else fall out. I heard that. Uh, there was another thing that just... Well, we at little... least we figured out, like, we didn't leave and end the video without... It took us hours to figure it out. Wait, on. There was a dowel here. No, 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 no. No, Look. no, there's a secondary. Oh, a little backup dowel. Oh, shit. You mm. dropped another one, I think. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. dropped two. Now we're here in a that bunch of stuff. the second one. So... Oh, that's cool. Okay, flip it over. We gotta open it up. What? We gotta open it up. I dropped some things in there. We gotta open up Pick those. it up. Hey, you got it. Maybe you got it. I can't remember rotisserie chicken this. Oh, I heard them. Where? I don't know how you're gonna get those out. I don't know where they are. Clean it. We need to figure out where they are first. Dude, I heard them. Or you can just fucking can tip you, it can forward. You, no, 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 don't. What? Just tip it, they'll fall out if you tip it forward. I understand. But I still need to investigate what this why this one is all loose and stuff. So I just put this bell housing on the new transmission and swapped over the push-pull conversion for the slave and all that stuff. When we put back the shifter on the tail end of this transmission, it's missing the shifter bushing because it was exploded in our old one and this one was all cracked and destroyed. So it's not in there at the moment, but I went online and started searching for some new ones. And then I saw that Ari Amamiya made a short shifter for this car. I just got that instead. So we have a short shifter coming with a metal bushing so the plastic ones don't break break shipping from Japan. So I have no idea how long it's gonna take. Probably my guess is like a week or so. So for the meantime, I'll just have kind of a sloppy shifter until that new short shifter comes in and we should be good to go. So at this point in the night, this transmission is completely built up and ready to go. Calvin failed putting the old one back together. So you just made a huge mess over there. It's not that big of a mess. It's oily. And then we still need to fix this reverse sensor plug because both these wires are snapped on this one and on ours it got caught up coming out of the car and got clipped off so we're gonna have to trim this or do something hopefully we can get that running tomorrow and then i need to go to the store and get more trans fluid because i don't have any so what i'm saying is that was a really good day of tearing everything apart learning everything and rebuilding everything i really want to pick this up tomorrow morning the 45 install change turned into a huge multi-part investigation to figure out what went wrong but i am happy that we did figure it out because that would have driven me nuts so hopefully we can rebuild this and have another spare transmission. No, we could definitely rebuild it. It was just missing a pin. Why wouldn't we get it built and swap it back? To no, we do a dig and send it to the ether, Tej. Don't listen to Dut. You don't need no built transmission. If you're gonna go build, you just get a bigger one. All right, we'll send it. Don't tell me Skids until it blows up. Comment down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And I'm feeling. Low.